Dan, brilliant performance, clean sheet, two goals, probably one of the most complete games we've had this season, would you agree? No. <laughs> um, I thought, I thought uh, the first half was a bit messy. Um, I thought our use of the ball uh, could have been a bit better, um, but we had chances in the first half. Um, yeah, I, when you say complete performance, maybe because we went in at nil-nil, and then we managed to sort of ramp it up a bit in the second half and sort of get our just rewards. But I thought we could have been a bit tidier with the football in the first half. Yeah, we had a good first half and came close to being two goals up. Uh, we then came out for the second half and were rewarded for our efforts. Um, what was said at half time? Um, there was a couple of things said at half time. I felt that we needed to be more aggressive in midfield. Um, I think that we didn't get enough second balls in good areas um, and that was said we looked at our energy levels on turnovers if you look at the second half when the ball started to break free uh, we would get forward in good numbers and i just think generally we had a good start to the second half the first goal was class i, I, I can't wait to watch it back but i just think that put us on the road to where we needed to go yesterday we announced the return of anderson pinto we're still waiting for his international clearance, hence he was unavailable today. Will he help to further strengthen the squad? Yes, um, we are. We've got Pince in, so Pince is a good signing for us. He's always done well for me. If you look, he can play a number of positions. He's a clever footballer. He's annoyed me because I was trying to sort it out with him in the summer, but we have to keep moving. We've had our to and fro's and I've managed to get that over the line. We are, as a football club, we are active, I think, and I hope that people are seeing what we are producing with a young group. We now have started that football match with two players over the age of 25. In the last four games, we've conceded one goal, one free and drawn one. So we're moving in the right direction. We are looking to extend and recruit and we have a couple of things in the line, but I will not rush and sign players for the sake of signing players. It's a trait that I feel has been at this football club and moving forward, I hope the supporters can see that we are truly trying to build a project. If we can keep some of these players, a core of these players for two years, you fundamentally could see the roots of actually putting the effort, the coaching, the time into young players. Now, where, where I contradict myself, and I've looked back over it, in the summer when we was talking about signing players, I spoke about signing men, winners, and people that knew how to do their job. When I had them conversation with players, I didn't enjoy the way they went. And, I know supporters like to look at details and go back over old interviews. So I'm the first one to say that I did it a different way. I chose to do it a different way. I accept responsibility doing it a different way. But I hope, and to be fair, the supporters were really good today. I thought they started at Bowers making noise and I thought they were good today. I hope that they can look and see at young players getting better and potential that this football club has with this group with some new additions. And finally, AJ took part in the warm-up today. Is he close to a return to action? Yes, so we had AJ train Thursday. AJ done some work today. Pint's trained Thursday. Pint's done some work today. Mont is off sick. Um, so we're looking okay. We've got a full week's training next week where I'll be putting the boys sort of ramp, putting it through their paces, ramping it up a little bit, getting some work into them. And then hopefully we'll have a, a bit of a different looking squad for next weekend.